Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Something has been moving slowly. There's a careful approach that's needed. You have to be methodical in your approach to going towards this new abundance, this new cycle, this good karma. Yeah. Going within introspection, learning something new. Virgo season could be significant. Yeah, look at that. Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands. There's something here that is being exposed. For somebody, somebody could be even under like an investigation, but something here, someone is discovering something and they're going to be able to celebrate and have a passion new beginning because they're going to see the source of a lot of deception and betrayal, the mental exhaustion, the the stabbing in the back, everything that's been happening. And it's going to allow someone the will of fortune, the chariot to move forward because someone has been slowed down a lot due to some kind of interference. Some people, this is a karmic energy. You've been moving too slowly, waiting too patiently on something that's not actually meant to be there. Or some of you, it, either this is you or you could be dealing with a person in your life They've been unable to celebrate with you or you've been unable to celebrate with someone, however it resonates, because of some kind of heartbreak, some type of fear. It's time for somebody to really admit to themselves that they have been really hurt by something. Venus is in retrograde, so everyone is, is looking right now at their relationships, the house of love, you know. Someone has been unable to gain energy, movement, a rhythm, momentum because of something that they're holding on to so tightly that has a lot to do with hurt, pain, betrayal, and deception. But this is the undoing, the tower, the judgment, ten of cups. Judgment and the tower, that Scorpio energy, and then you have the Ten of Wands. This is a burden. There's a burden here that's being dropped so that someone, wow, can manifest the Ace of Pentacles and a brand new beginning. <laughs> that leads to the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. The Hierophant. For some of you, You've been holding on to someone or someone has been holding on to you or you're dealing with a person that has been blocked by something or someone from their past. Okay. This energy that has been holding on to you or someone that you perhaps are dealing with. For some of you, this has nothing to do with love. It could be a career or whatever it is. Point is. Something here that a person has been doing in the background is over. This King of Pentacles has been coming up a lot. There's a person for some of you that has been in the background sending some type of energy towards you to monitor you, perhaps. This person is stressed out because what is happening is... Whatever they've been doing to send some type of energy to you, I feel it's over. It has been shattered because it is time for you to have the four of wands. Something has been broken, shattered. Like I just, I'm telling you, I broke two glasses. You know, that's not, that's not common at all. It's not. And I was like, what, what is it? You have 10, 10 out here, and then 10 again. Three tens. Actually, there's four tens. You could be seeing 10, 10 a lot. And then the judgment card, which is card number 20. Something is just over. And it has a lot to do with something that has been happening in the background. It is being or it will soon be exposed entirely 
what something or a person has done. There is a group here for some of you, a group of friends, family, a community or whatever that are facing judgment. The tower, the hammer is being brought down on something or someone or a group. These people could have been doing something in the dark to betray you, hurt you, deceive you in some way so that they could manifest wealth and abundance. Because what's coming in for you is a boatload of abundance and security, stability. It's happiness. For some of you, money is what makes you happy. For some, it's love. For a lot of you, you're going to receive everything because... Whatever has been binding your energy has been removed or it's being removed. But I will say this. The truth of who and what this is, I have a reading like this last year. I said, when you find out who has been doing this to you and what they've been doing and how long they've been doing it. Yes, it's going to be devastating. But I feel that the Hierophant, God is going to come in with so many blessings to release this burden that you're not going to have time to sit down and ponder and contemplate and be sick, sad, or stagnant about whatever this is. The only thing, that there, the one thing that has been standing in your way or the one person situation is being removed. You're going, I'm telling you, like I can feel it in my mind. You're going to have so much more. Something is so much better. There's four tens here. Ten of swords, ten of wands, ten of pentacles, ten of cups, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. I feel like somebody has gone to God and it's like, I, I have to get out of a situation. Your, your cries, your prayers, they've all been heard and answered. You're moving forward here. The wheel has shifted and changed. This three of swords here, somebody who was in the shadows heartbroken, upset, and in despair possibly about you moving forward. This interference is what has been blocking you from moving forward with an offer or an opportunity, or it has been blocking an offer or opportunity from coming towards you. Because what is being revealed for some of you is that truthfully, someone has done some kind of binding magic or something on you some kind of root work or whatever because this person is scorned, they're jealous, envious, upset, whatever the case may be. It could be a king of pentacles who has done this to you. But just like those glasses, you're replacing something. But the I'm replacing the same glass. Some of you, whatever you're, is about to come into your life, whether it's a job opportunity, like I said, a relationship or whatever, for some of you, this is for sure related to a relationship. You could have a person coming into your, they're the same sign as the person that has betrayed you. Something about whatever is exiting your life from your south node is very, very similar to what's coming into your life a part of your North Node soul purpose. So this King of Pentacles person could have been the one who was holding on to you for dear life because they've been using you to manifest their energy, to manifest things. So your energy hasn't been your own. They've been in the background causing heartbreak, interference in your life. But this Knight of Pentacles is coming in with an offer quickly. So it seems that for some of you, you have a person that has watched and monitored you to block you. You also have a person who has been watching and monitoring you because they want to move forward. You have somebody that's stressed out because they cannot reunite with you. You have someone who's also stressed out because they can't wait to unite with you. Okay. Somebody is stressed out and very concerned that you're about to receive everything 
that is due to you anyway. Because someone here put in a lot of work with the devil to ensure that you will never have all of these great opportunities that's here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Judgment is here. Good karma is here. You're letting go. You're forgiving those that trespassed against you. It's time for you to celebrate. Somebody here is looking into your life and what they're realizing is that they could not stop or block something. You're loved by angels because you are an angel and you are most likely supposed to be in a divine connection with someone who is angelic just like you. This entity here, this person that works with entities or they're housing an entity or whatever, someone here has done so much work against you and I'm picking up root work, spell work. Like this person has done some really dark heavy heavy stuff to you for at least the last five to seven years for some of you and they're very stressed out and concerned because they're like i don't understand how this did, did this didn't happen why could they not block you this is someone who is obsessed with blocking you controlling you they don't understand how you're able to transmute this energy it's because you are a being of love and light you're an earth angel no matter what this person has done to many of you it hasn't caused you to hate them or anything it's just you now know that you have to walk away from this person or this situation that's it and this person now is very far afraid. This individual is frightened. They don't know what to do now. Because Look, disappointed, full of regret. They don't know what to do now because you're walking away. You have a passionate new beginning here. The page of wands, like I said, for some of you, this knight of pentacles, someone in your life, there's a person either in your life or coming into your life, there is an offer that has been very, very slow to come in. It is because it was too much happening behind you and around you to allow this energy to come in. Sometimes God will not bless you with something new because you have snakes and in, in just negative energy around you that is going to ruin, or just completely sabotage and steal anything good that you have coming in. That's that's why you have to be willing to let. That's why I was like the the shattering, the undoing. But it seems like something that has refused to leave you alone, refused to allow you to to live in peace and have harmony, is being shattered. Yeah, there is some baggage here that has to be removed. And again. If this is not you, this could be someone that you are connected to. For some of you, this person that has been moving very slowly towards you, whether you know them or not yet, energetically, this person has been trying to come. Somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul that's coming towards you. Wow, 6-6. Six, six. Something is being balanced out, though. You have the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. So you're going towards happiness wish fulfillment no more baggage no more drama you're sailing on to peaceful calmer waters away from whatever this this scheme this scandal this strategy that someone had to work against you you're the high priestess so you can see this very clearly or you're about to because there are secrets in a situation your intuition is guiding you towards something and it's for sure guiding you away from someone Three of Wands. What's coming in? Two of Swords. Three of Wands. The King of Wands. And then the Death card. So you've been at a crossroads for some of you. Trying to choose between two different paths, two different people. Somebody sees that you're not blocked. Somebody here was working with some type of entity. It's a heavy emphasis on crossroads. I don't know... I've, I've heard of different, um, I guess, like deities where people go to the cross. Somebody here may have gone to the crossroads. 
recently to have you blocked so that you couldn't have all of this abundance that's coming in? They got tricked. This king of wands here is looking and they were expecting you to be stopped at the crossroads by some type of entity. This is a, this is um some type of, I don't know why I'm really seeing this. This is some type of, uh, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have never seen this before, but I'm seeing it right now. And I don't know the name of, of it. Three of wands. I'll have to look it up. I don't see. I don't know. This is some of you. If you can, please tell me in the comments. There's like a, um, a deity that people go to at the crossroads, right? I think I'm assuming that you call it a deity. I feel like somebody has gotten tricked. This is a, it's a male deity. Somebody has made an offer to this deity so that you would be crossed, so that you could not cross over into your abundance. So somebody, like with this destiny swapping energy, somebody thought they would go to the crossroads, they will stop you, they will block you, and you couldn't receive your pentacle. Okay? Whoever this person is, they work very hard on conjuring up this energy and doing this work. You see it here. The devil, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles. Somebody here could be very obsessed even with like money. Somebody here could, could be experiencing some type of financial hardship. They are hiding in the background. The fact that something in their life is not going well. And so they've decided to go to some type of deity or pay somebody to do some type of spiritual work to bind you. They wanted you stuck at the crossroads, unable to move forward. Death is here. But they were hoping that you would face death at this crossroads. That's not what happened. This person is going to face this death. Because see, the thing is, in my understanding, if you go and you make a deal with these different deities and entities and so forth, if they can't collect what you send them out to collect, I mean, they have to get something. That's, that's just how energy works. Energy can never be destroyed. Oh, man. Somebody could be a dark high priestess. Oh my gosh. There could be a dark high priestess. There could be a dark high priestess who did some work. They wanted some type of come up or they were paid to do this by a person who wanted some type of come up using your energy. They did this to an earth angel who was, who was supposed to come into a lot of abundance who literally is sitting at the right, the right hand of God. This is bad. The Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords. This is a man. This could be like a warlock or something. This person is a dark high priest or they worked with a dark high priestess to do this. It was to block someone from going into their divine soul contract or even into a new relationship. Yeah, someone someone here is about to receive an, an offer. 
Wow. It's an offer of reciprocity, equal give and take. It's the offer that someone has been dreaming of. Page of Pentacles. It, it's a stable offer. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yo, this person. My goodness. This part, oh my gosh. I'm just like, somebody did some really heavy root work like i'm a you can call it root work black magic but somebody here i'm because i'm i'm picking up like i can hear remember when at the beginning i said each time the glass broke i knew exactly what i was thinking about this could be some kind of mind control too where somebody wanted every time a person thought about love you know financial stability security every time you've thought about something good or somebody that you're connected to there's an energy that has been making somebody think that like they they are just stuck in doom and gloom so that they couldn't move forward this is like somebody who has like double tripled up on some kind of spell work like somebody here has thrown everything at somebody mind control domination root work hoodoo voodoo deities entities like somebody here oh my gosh and i'm just sitting here thinking because i could two glasses broke so th there could be a like a warlock out here and a dark high priest or high priestess. It's more than one person that has has done this. This person didn't work alone. And the reading yesterday I talked about, I said somebody's ex sacrificed them and tried to give the energy of a divine feminine or masculine to whoever they're with. And these people, they they're into dark darkness or whatever. There is an undoing. It makes sense. What I'm picking up on, the, the signs, the synchronicities. Somebody here, who, let me see. I'm, I don't, I'm just going to look it up. I guess I can say um, deity at the crossroads. Who is that? Maybe good old Google will tell me. It's a, um, cause that's what I'm picking up. Something about the crossroads. Uh, somebody went to the crossroads. Who is the deity of the crossroads? Oh, oh my gosh. If you need something bad enough, you can make a deal with Allegba or Satan. It says you go to a crossroads at midnight and wait until he shows up. That's when you sign your soul away and lose your chance at salvation in exchange for whatever gift it is you want or need. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my gosh. So did this happen last night? At midnight? Did somebody somebody went to the crossroads and they wanted to meet Satan? Allegba. Papa, is it Papa Legba? Allegba? Somebody was desperate. They could need help. Somebody needed help. I don't know if they need financial help. They've been working on something. 
or it, it, they may not even, this person may not need financial help. This person just wanted help with being able to sabotage you in a way. So they went to the crossroads and they made a deal. And somebody made a deal to sell, like, they probably don't have a soul. But th this kind of goes with the reading from yesterday. This person is working with these deities or whatever to sell their soul away to get, to, to make deals. And I, I'm assuming that one of the, the things that they really wanted was an opportunity to have you or somebody wanting someone that you're connected to. This did not go through as planned. It didn't. It didn't work. Oh my gosh. Because this person was looking at the crossroads to see. Look, it tells the story right here. I just read on Google. It says a person will go to the crossroads and they will wait for Elegba to show up. Look at this king of wands. They're at the crossroads waiting on something to come in. This person is waiting for the devil to grant them whatever wish they want. They're waiting. Or they've been waiting. But see, now this person is stressed. They're like, wait a minute. That deal didn't go through. My offer wasn't accepted. Ooh. Oh my good somebody is in trouble because somebody has confirmation that the deal that they made with the devil didn't go through they know it didn't go through they know it like a hundred percent no this person is paranoid scared in deep regret because this this plan it didn't go through this person was at the crossroads waiting like yeah the devil is going to show up and it's going to keep me and this person chained together or it's going to make sure that this person does not receive an offer. And Papa Legwood came right in. Or I'm assuming that this is just who Papa, I, I feel like this is. This, this entity, this energy, it came in. And this person... This, um, a leg but energy, whatever. This is like a... This is, um... I just... I read that too. It's a very tricky spirit. It's very tricky. Because, see, something was happening... It's like your angels, your ancestors, your guides, they already knew that you had this abundance coming in. So they were behind the scenes working so that this hierophant could have victory and success going towards this high priestess. Somebody did this attack on like a divine union. For sure. Somebody saw a person connecting with a divine counterpart. They made a deal with... Um, what is it called? A legba or something like that. To stop this. It says you. It says you go to a crossroads at midnight and wait until he shows up. That's when you sign your soul away and lose your chance at salvation in exchange for whatever gift it is you want or need. So whoever this person is, they probably. Have already like sold their soul trickster it says the trickster at the crossroads hold on what does it say trickster west africa's god of messages sex and deceit So this is somebody here who is using um Orishas
West African tradition. So somebody here is worshiping West African tradition, Orishas, um, Elegba. It says, in its rituals, West African tradition has learned to plug people directly into the realm of archetypes. Archetypes which are strengthened by interfacing with the lower traits of ordinary human personalities. See, this is what I'm saying. It's like if a person wanted you to be without something or seen a certain way, Every time you think of something positive, they're trying to make you think of something negative so that you're not able to have. And I've been talking about this a lot for the last few weeks, how these people are trying to get you to self-sabotage. And I, I also mentioned like with these satanic rituals, they're using sex and everything else to pretty much like prepare people for their own sacrificial rituals. Wow. Yeah. So somebody was preparing someone to be like the sacrificial lamb. And they made an offer to Alegba, who represents Satan, that they will get your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, your Twin Flame Union, the self-love that you have, all of this, you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, there's three Aces. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Somebody sees that you're going into, I mean, like crazy blessings and abundance. And they were waiting. This person's like, yeah, I'll sell my soul. Or they've already sold their soul. So they've already sold their soul. And they picked you as the sacrifice for them to gain all of this. This is confirmation, though, that this was shattered. This didn't work. And this could be a couple that did this. This could be like a warlock working with a dark priest or priestess. The lovers, yeah. You're receiving an offer. The Empress. It's it's the equal give and take offer that you've been dreaming of and, and imagining with the Seven of Cups. Wow. Page Pen, look at that. Strength card. Strength, courage, and the sun. Seven of Wands. You're protected, but somebody was doing everything to block you. This is a sacrifice, you guys, that it didn't go through. Either somebody tries to do this to you or your person, or they tried to do it to you and your person. Somebody wanted to steal your contract, your essence. And I've been telling you this. They've done it before. Knight of Wands. And here you have the Ace of Swords. So now we have all four Aces out here. This truth is coming out and it's going to create the breakthrough now for wish fulfillment, for happiness. Somebody is not going to turn their back on something and start working very hard while to heal a partnership. This is a romantic partnership. Somebody has to get the truth about this. They didn't know. Six of Cups. It's for sure like a soulmate, a past life soulmate connection. Could be like a twin flame. But this is destined, the stars here. It's destined for two people to work together. Somebody came in and said no. They were determined. Queen of Swords. Look at this. Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups. This Queen of Swords saw this Knight of Cups going in a direction towards the twin flame. They made it almost impossible for this person to grow, 
that so somebody here this angry bitter person saw this knight of cups opening their heart so she this person calls this man to juggle in hopes that they would not become the emperor but this man is actually now going through a dark night of the soul they're healing this is this is something new that's coming in this is what somebody was trying to block from coming in so you know it's it, it seems like there's a couple out here that's working against you but it's like going into this partnership that some of you are destined to go into what's happening to you is also happening to your person yeah somebody is healing and archangel michael is assisting them to make sure that they don't miss an opportunity so whoever this person is they have to they have to be blocked this queen of wands this karmic and this karmic justice this situation is over someone also has just ended all of their financial abundance and stability because this person kept trying to create delays this queen of cups out here is not going to experience any more delays there's an awakening yeah because someone here has just been jealous and envious that this queen of cups is connecting with this king of cups two of cups six of cups who's a past life soulmate these two people are destined to work together and then you have this queen of pentacles here this queen of pentacles could be behind a lot of this this is this is two different i think in a reading yesterday i said it was like six different energies there divine and it was two glasses that broke somebody could have had you you in a jar as well somebody could have had two people in a jar a divine feminine and a divine masculine i feel like it's a divine feminine or masculine one of these people the masculine or the feminine had someone and it could be this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles is the one who could have made this deal to go to the crossroads this could be an old like dark priest priestess or this queen of pentacles could have paid somebody hey go to the crossroads and stop this person from moving into this new relationship with this divine feminine or whatever however there is a warlock out here as well and I feel like this warlock person did something to stop this divine feminine from moving forward. They wanted this person stuck in a very stagnant energy. The warlock is, is doing more mind control spells. So I'm picking up a warlock out here who has been doing mind control spells and sending really bad energy and the evil eye to a divine feminine so that the divine feminine does not go towards their actual counterpart. On the flip side of this, though, whoever Divine Feminist counterpart is, has a Queen of Pentacles in their life who made an offer to pop a leg, a legba, legba, or whatever at a crossroads to keep this person from moving forward. These are ex friends and family that's doing this, and whatever is happening to one counterpart is happening to the other. That's why that temperance card is out here. There's a balancing. And remember how I said two glasses broke? Look at this card. It's two. Somebody did not want two people to come together. So they did all of this heavy magic. This is mind control spells, trickery spells, all kinds of stuff. But see, what ended up happening is they got tricked. They got tricked at this crossroads. Whoever whoever did this, this uh made this offer went to the crossroads or whatever to do this that didn't work and this person may have paid somebody to do it but they knew exactly they knew what they were requesting to be done wow wow that's crazy look at the moon you could have a cancer out here judgment wow the moon judgment and then the sun this is their masculine I feel like this is the divine masculine. This person is going through an awakening. They're seeing the truth.
this tower here. Somebody is trying to repair something. I feel like this masculine, once they get the truth, they're really going to be trying hard to repair a situation so that they can have a brand new beginning after this ending here. This person is choosing to go towards this divine feminine, this queen of cups. That's the divine masculine situation, okay? There's a divine feminine who has this warlock, king of pentacles, hierophant. They keep trying to tap into their energy to harvest it for themselves. They thought that they were going to get this divine feminist energy to move forward. But no, it was blocked. Once again, the chariot. Everybody who's at the crossroads is losing right now. Nothing is moving forward. This divine feminine is being happy, ambitious, and focusing on their finances, career, abundance, and, and maybe manifesting this counterpart. I don't know if these two people who are counterparts, if they know each other yet or not. I would feel like these two people have to have connected, though, because there's too many people with eyes on these two people to be doing. Like, these people are very intentional about the black magic that they're doing. So this is two people who are already together. This is the divine feminine and masculine who are, con they've connected energetically and most likely physically. Because somebody knows about this connection. They know. And that's the reason why they've been doing so much magic on it. But look at this. It's protected. Because somebody in this connection, twin flame connection, is a high priestess. And some and the other person in the connection works very closely with Archangel Michael. So anybody that comes against it will instantly fall from grace and there will be a death. I can't make this up. The card, let me say, if you want to say I'll, I'm lying, the cards won't lie. Page of Swords. Everybody that tried to watch this connection and cause it to end, justice and judgment is here. They'll never be able to look into this connection again because somebody's going to have a fall from grace, possibly go to jail, and somebody's going straight to hell for what they did. Because somebody here was tampering with the situation it's meant to be. The Page of Cups. Whoever sent this, this entity out or whatever to attack this Queen of Cups person, Divine Feminine, they made an offer. This is the offer that they made at the crossroads to attack this person. And they sat there at the crossroads waiting to see if it happened. It didn't. It didn't. This person sees now that this offer was not accepted and it's coming back to them. They've been caught. Why? Because you attacked a high priestess and a hermit. A high priestess who can see behind the veil, a hermit who had these two people have a lot of access to sacred wisdom and knowledge. They're very connected to a lot of ascended masters. You don't get to be a high priestess who can see clearly behind the veil and be a hermit and not get the keys to a lot of stuff, to the underworld. That's the whole point. And this king of pentacles here, this warlock, was trying to create some kind of illusion for this divine feminine high priestess in hopes that this wheel of fortune would not turn and they could steal all of their divine blessings. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. Some of you guys can like go run, skip, jump down the street because The glass is shattered. And if somebody had you and somebody else in a jar, they could have had your picture in a jar. They went to a crossroads or whatever. This spell that they did, it, it's over. Somebody with the significance now of the glasses, somebody could have for sure made a deal with the with a leg book or whatever. And then somebody could have tried to put you and another person that they're aware of you connecting with in a jar. 
could have possibly wanted to bury it in a graveyard or something. They they purposely decided that they were going to cause separation, a shattering. Remember, I said a shattering and undoing of this twin flame connection. False person. In the reverse, and look at this person and concern. Like I said, you have a false person out here. You have a karmic feminine energy out here, and you have a masculine out here. These people are concerned about what they did because it didn't work. This could be a warlock and a, a dark witch. They're both looking like, okay, what do we do now? I hear somebody say, maybe it's just delayed. Somebody could have paid someone overseas to do this at a distance. Yeah, look at that, the lovers. High honor. It's a spiritual divine couple here. Wow. Concern. Somebody was all in your business. Concerned about your connection to someone else. Look at this. <laughs> main female change. House. Main male thief. Sudden will. You have a main male. Male. Who's about to go through a change and have more security with a main male. Somebody came in to steal the sudden wealth from this privileged lady so that they wouldn't be on their pathway and they would be in despair. Instead, what's going to happen is someone is going to go into a courtship that's leading to marriage. You can expect a message soon about unexpected income and the work that these people have been doing is being put to an end. This family here, adjudication family room, these people in this family, this cult, COVID, secret society, community, whatever, they're going under judgment. And here's this mother and daughter, gift, great fortune, wealthy man. They're going to be receiving a message of concern from an official person, and they're going to face poverty. This queen of pentacles who possibly went to the crossroads and made somebody, I don't know. It could have been the warlock who went to the crossroads or, or whomever. Whoever went to this crossroads and did somebody here is going to be under an investigation and, and they could be wealthy now. They could be privileged now. They're going to go through poverty for what they did. Somebody now is going to lose everything because, oh my, remember I said this like not yes, maybe the reading yesterday or the day before I said somebody, they put you up as like collateral. Remember I said that? I said the person has like some kind of loan. They need to pay something off or whatever. They decided to sacrifice you or your person like spiritual collateral. They felt like, okay, I will offer this person up if if I can keep my wealth, if I can keep my house, my car, my wealth, whatever. They made a sacrifice. And they I'm assuming they made this offer the sacrifice and they called in a legba. It wasn't it wasn't accepted. Wow. This is like confirmation. I would suggest that you go back and look at like my last three to five readings, because this has been one running story. And these are Satanists. July 20th through the 26th, there's been a satanic ritual happening. They've been getting ready for their sacrifice because they make their sacrifices before Leo season because people are manifesting abundance. It's a very, very, it's a time of great wealth and abundance. So they go and they make their sacrifices and they snatch your blessings. So they're calling in Satan. Somebody here who could be West African. Or they're contacting dark priests or whomever, West African dark priestess, warlocks or whomever, to call in on these 
deities. But see, I always talk say this. <laughs> You're dealing with like a high priestess, a hermit, a hierophant. Someone has deep roots, past life ties. Well, like I said, they're good in every hood. There's no deity or anything that's going to stop this divine being. In fact, when they when they get to the crossroads and they see who they're up against, they instantly say no, and they're gonna go back to whoever. It's like whoever sent put the. It's like putting a hit out. Whoever put the hit out, the person's like, wait a minute, who you send who? You guys can check out the reading that I did maybe last week. And I was referencing like in um John Wick. And maybe it was John Wick too. The guy who who killed John Wick's dog and stole his car. His own dad was like, do you know what you've done? What do they call John Wick? Baba, Baba Yaga? The boogeyman. He's like, no. You call John Wick when you want to get rid of the boogeyman. Somebody didn't know who that was going up against when they made this offer to Papa Allegba, whomever. They made this offer to the devil. They didn't know that somebody... Literally, I'm really picking up like an old Cyrus. They didn't know that somebody was the king of the underworld. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Somebody tried to sacrifice a divine masculine. They didn't know. Look at that. It makes sense. The moon, judgment. This is Osiris energy. Somebody tried to sacrifice somebody who's literally the god of the underworld by sending a leg back out to this person. Oh my God. Y'all, the stuff that's coming out like this, this reading, I could sit here and read this energy for the next four hours. It's so many messages here. It's crazy. Literally. This person is the God of the, this is Osiris energy. And somebody thought, I'll tell you what. It makes sense though. It's like Isis, Osiris, and Seth. Seth wanted this energy, this Osiris energy so bad. He went and made another offer. To try to take this person's energy. This is this karmic masculine that did this. This karmic masculine like this warlock. I, I'm picking up again that queen of pentacles. It's like this karmic masculine warlock has worked with this queen of pentacles to do this graveyard magic or make this offering. Whoever this, for some, whoever this divine masculine is, could be male or female. We've been picking up a lot of what's been happening to divine feminine. This is, this seems to be a lot of people right now really out to get this divine masculine. There's a divine feminine. You you could have a, a warlike ex that's attacking the divine masculine that's in your life or coming into your life. They're also being attacked possibly by family or someone that they've met along their journey. Somebody's spiritual rank is about to go through the roof. I'll tell you that much. Because somebody is, is is about to just slay. They've already done it. There's two things that have been shattered. You have a warlock out here and some kind of dark priestess. These two people work together or they may not know each other at all, but they've both been attacking a twin flame union. A high priestess, a hierophant. And it's something about this hermit energy.
this high priestess and this hierophant. This high priestess, this high priestess and this hierophant are either going to have a child together that will be a, her a hermit, or you have a high priestess and a hermit who are going to have a hierophant child. These people don't want this twin flame union to come together because they're also meant to have a child who most likely will later become very powerful, a very powerful spiritual being. That's why so much has been attacking this union. Multiple people have been attacking this one union. Occupation. Imprisonment. Mature man, false person, thief. Imprisonment. Someone's going to go to jail for something that they've been working on, that they do. This mature man and this false person. This could be this karmic couple. Wow. <laughs> it's 11-11. 11-11. And the phone just rang at 1111. Wow. This mature man and this um, false person, karmic couple or whomever, they're going to go to jail for being thieves. They've been stealing. They're, they're scammers. They scam for sudden wealth. And they're going to face judgment. For being a part of this cult, secret society or whatever. Because they tried to sacrifice this main female. So here we have this warlock with their witch. Um, dark priestess, wife, girlfriend, mother, mother-in-law, whomever. They tried to sacrifice this divine feminine. They want this divine feminine in bad health so that they could steal his or her gift. And then you have some evil person that went to the crossroads and tried to sacrifice this divine masculine. Because the divine masculine is a wealthy person who's official who wants to marry someone. These people wanted this divine masculine, though, to be in poverty. Why? Because the divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine. The divine masculine is thinking about marrying the divine feminine, the main female who they've also been trying to sacrifice. <laughs> the level of protection on these people is insane. Because when I, it's like everybody has it out for this, this feminine and this masculine. This is kingdom marriages this is not you know your your typical karmic oh i don't like your it, no these people are literally both being sacrificed at the same time because of their purpose telepathy action take action it says here good <laughs> divine masculine there's a good change coming your divine masculine for some of you they're they're leaving everything behind to pursue their soul purpose with you this is someone new in your life and look at this here you have a karmic feminine here and a karmic masculine you have a karmic feminine that's trying to tempt someone to come come back to tempt this divine masculine and you have a karmic masculine that's toxic and controlling these two people were trying to stand in between a union coming together